the doors are closing. Train to party. Please hold on. Welcome to a new episode of Max 101. Today we're going to be talking about those signs that you may have seen before at Gateway that say Reverser in Neutral. First things first, what is that even supposed to mean? That doesn't even make any sense. Reverser in Neutral. Well, I have talked about the Reverser once before on episode 10. The Reverser is a handle used to select your direction of travel. On the type 1s, 2s, and 3s, the order is forward, neutral, reverse, off. And so if a sign ever tells you to reverse in neutral, it's telling you to place your reverser into the neutral position instead of the forward position. And just as a side note, on the type 4s and 5s, and undoubtedly the type 6s when these are out, they have a forward neutral and reverse and that's it. They don't have an off position because neutral does the same thing. So again, reverser in neutral means that you need to place your reverser into neutral. But you know, what is this doing? What why is this why do you need to do this? Well, think about what happens. When in the front of your train and I've talked about it on another episode, there are three main lights that you can see. So if you're out late at night and you're seeing a train coming, you're going to notice three lights. Two of those at the bottom are your headlights. And these turn on every time you move it into forward. And then there's a third light right on top known as the Cyclops light. Now these all, all three of those will turn on every time you move the train into forward, but they all turn off when you put it into neutral. And there's also a way to just turn the Cyclops off. So if you're in the forward direction, all three of your lights are on, and there's a momentary foot pedal that you can hit to turn off the Cyclops. Those are your lighting controls, and I've talked about them before, but it's worth mentioning again. When you place the reverser into neutral like that, it turns off all your lights. It turns off everything. And because Gateway Transit Center is such a weird station, because it's kind of like there's two areas for buses, and then the trains are right in the middle. So you have buses, then the trains, and then more buses. And so, bus, so when there's a bus there, it has to cross at least one set of tracks just to leave Gateway. So this is a way of communicating to the bus driver, or yeah, to all the bus drivers, that you're not moving. So as soon as you come to a stop, you put your reverser in neutral and all your lights turn off. This tells all the bus operators that it is safe to cross the tracks because there are no crossing gates or anything here and Gateway can be kind of a mess. But, it's, it, again, it's just a communication factor, basically, to say that my train is stopped and you can cross in front of me, no problem. And then when you're ready to go, when the operator's ready to close the doors, he'll put the reverser back into forward, all the lights will turn on, and that means I'm ready to go. Don't cross in front of me because I'm about to go. There are seven different bus lines that serve Gateway. And so, again, all seven of them have to cross the max tracks at some point. Because if you're coming into Gateway and you're just on the other side of the tracks, well, you don't have to cross them yet. But when you leave, because of the one-way flow of traffic, you have to cross the tracks, and I believe you have to cross them a second time, because it's more of a loop. And so you have to cross the tracks. You have to cross them twice, every time. And if you're on the other side of Gateway, you come in and you have to cross the first set of tracks and then you wait at Gateway. And then when it's ready for you to leave, when it's time for you to leave, you have to go and you have to cross the tracks again just to get back out. So, it, you have to do that. And so, the way the, all the trains going in every direction have that reverser in neutral. So, every time a train pulls into Gateway, all of its lights should turn off. Now again, like I said earlier, this is, this is not to be confused with turning that bright Cyclops light off. That's, that's a different procedure altogether. If two trains are passing each other at night, they might turn, well they, they really should turn this Cyclops light off when passing each other because it's bright. <laughs> it's blinding. And so, yeah, you don't really want to have those on. And so when two trains pass each other, they'll turn it off. Sometimes, because I'll go out and I'll go film stuff like a weirdo at night on some of the stations, 
and I filmed at Hatfield a lot at night and sometimes when they notice me filming they'll turn off the bright light because they think it makes it easier it doesn't blind me which is not really true I don't really care I'm looking through the camcorder screen in the first place but um, yeah so lots in lots of my videos like I probably showed the clip of it earlier um, the train is just pulling into Hatfield and then the guy randomly turns his Cyclops off. He did not move it into neutral here. He just pressed the momentary foot pedal to get that to turn off. That's just for passing other vehicles or for making the whole process not so blinding. Now, Gateway is the only certain area, at least that I know of, where you have to do the whole reverser in neutral thing. It's required by all drivers. But there might be a second situation where you'd have to do it as well, depending on where you're driving. It is most common on the yellow line, but it could happen in downtown Portland or whatever. If there is an emergency vehicle of any kind, they can use the yellow line tracks on Interstate Avenue to drive through to avoid the rest of the traffic. Or they can use max tracks in downtown Portland and they might be going, swinging in and out of all the traffic lanes, and so they need the trains to be stopped. And so as soon as you notice an oncoming emergency vehicle coming toward you, you need to pull your train to a stop and put it in neutral. Again, this communicates to the ambulance driver or fire truck driver or whatever that you are not moving and because all of your lights have turned off. So as soon as you come to a stop, put it into neutral and that way the emergency vehicle knows that they can pass you and that you're not moving or that they can cut through the intersection or whatever and that you are not moving. So, yeah, you just be careful of, you know, if you're seeing emergency vehicles around, just know that the train is going to come to a stop too. So, when you're driving on the road and you pull over, the trains kind of do the same thing. They just come to a stop until the emergency vehicle has completely passed. Then they'll move the reverser back into forward and continue with their day as normal. Amazing. A short-ish episode. So, there you go. So if you ever wondered what those signs were that said reverser in neutral, or if you just wondered how the whole emergency vehicle process works in case you were ever wondering, as it is law to pull over or at least come to a stop um, if you are unable to pull over, um, well, the trains come to a stop because they can't really pull over. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the procedure there. And I'll see you on the next one.